Hey gang, it's Boontar checking in. Um, checking in from Atlanta. So uh, this is a run that we don't usually get. And I'm right now just kind of playing the waiting game. I'm uh, sitting out on the street at the Kroger Distribution Center. You can see uh, right over there, a Kroger. So, yeah, I'm just uh, sitting here waiting for them to get me a door. I could be here 10 minutes. I could be here five hours. You just never know. But today is a very special day for a couple of reasons. Uh, reason number one, if all goes according to plan, I will be meeting up with a very dear friend of mine. Uh, this is somebody I haven't seen him in a few years. Last time I saw him, I had uh, I had a load going into North Carolina when he lived in North Carolina, um, and I had a brief visit with him. But I haven't I haven't seen him since then. So uh, he has a, a channel with a couple videos up. If you haven't already seen him, uh, you should definitely go check him out. It's Mr. Uh, John Klutz also known as the poet. He is also the founder of the Four Green Fellas and also the guy who turned me on to pipe smoking some 16, 17 years ago, something like that. So very excited to see him and I'm also very excited to be bringing to him when we were all smoking pipes there was uh, one point where he had uh, divvied up his collection, or the greater part of his collection, to uh, to his friends, and he gave away some really nice pipes. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to get as part of his collection. Yeah, here I think I've showed this before in uh, some videos. This is. Uh, these two pipes here. They're both a uh, Peterson, the model number 53, so they are very similar, whoop, very similar in size and shape. But uh, let's see if I can hold this straight. Here we go. Okay. This one here is the Emerald, which has the uh, fancy little band there. And then this one here is the Donegal Rocky, which has the sterling silver band. So these will be returning to their previous owner. He had expressed that uh, maybe that wasn't the best decision for him to give away his pipes. Um, and I think it's I think it's time that he get get some of those pipes back. The, the one guy who uh, earlier this last week, uh, or earlier this week, we opened that package and, and Skipsy got the uh, Sabinelli Obi-Wan and I got the, actually this guy right here, the Peterson Sherlock Holmes. Uh, these came from the collection of a fella who was uh, part of, the, he is part of the Four Green Fellows, but he was, uh, uh, he was selling off his pipes and part of his collection was a Peterson Mark Twain that was actually originally gifted to him uh, by John. And so that was actually packaged up and returned to John. So that was very cool for Anthony to do that. So I will be seeing John later today, and I'll be able to return his pipes to him. I, want, I actually wanted to have an opportunity to clean them up a little bit better. Um, you know, it, it kind of cleaned out the bowls and gave them a salt alcohol treatment. Um, I, I've been working on putting together a, a good uh, buffing wheel. I wanted to buff up the stems real good, but I, I didn't have a chance to do that yet. And he seems to be uh, have very little interest in any of that anyway. He said, "Just ah, just pour a little whiskey through it. It'll be good enough." So, say la vie. Anyway, so that's that's one very uh, very uh, very important thing about uh, why why today is a big day. And then another reason 
I have, you may have seen yesterday, a couple of brand new pipes that have never been smoked. And I have these two guys here, and they are sitting in a couple of fancy tobaccos that I've been hearing a lot about. And I haven't tried either one of these yet. So the Joe Case Sleepy Hollow, I have sitting in a cup uh, of Mississippi River. Let me take a look. Hold on just one minute. And let's take a look. Uh, the video yesterday from the box opening, I didn't realize when that video was being shot how poor the lighting situation was. So let's see if we can get a little bit better look at this uh, Sleepy Hollow pipe. Take a look at the bottom there, a nice smooth bottom. And I don't know how well this will show up on a camera phone, but it's got the uh, Joe Case signature stamp there. And it says 2012 USA. It was a smooth bottom and a rusticated finish with the rusticated top. And it's a poker center. It's got that kind of that cherry wood shape with that uh, very slightly slanted bottom. And I didn't realize the bowl on this, how deep this is. It's a, it's a relatively narrow bowl. I can just kind of fit my pinky in here. But it's a deep bowl. I mean, I can fit my pinky all the way down in there. So that should be a nice, nice long smoke, I'm thinking. So that I got the Mississippi River for. And then I also have the, sitting in a cup of Penzance, is the Magpie, Briar Birds Magpie. It's a brand new, look at that, clean, natural bowl. And this will be broken in with some Penzance. Now, I haven't had, uh, I haven't smoked either one of these pipes yet, and I haven't had either one of these tobaccos yet. And why I have them sitting out in the cup here, I noticed just in the last week, Black Metal Pipe Smoker has uh, had both the Penzance and the Mississippi River, and I believe in both cases, uh, he said that they were rather moist and difficult to keep lit. So I have them sitting out in a cup right now. Hopefully they'll dry out a little bit and uh, be a little bit easier to smoke later on once I once I meet up with John. So that's about it for me. Um, I guess I'll check in with you guys later once I've met up with John and we get our bowls lit up and, and get our smoke on. So until then, guys, all I got to say is, Beard slam.